All right, roll the dice, Elio Mark. Season two begins tonight. Uh, we'll be back with horse racing Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, moving forward. Some other stuff, too. Elio, we just watched a, uh, a difficult defeat. Yeah, the JV team beat the defending Stanley Cup champs. Sort of cheap shot their way into it, but hey, they won fair and square. We got to go to a game seven in Tampa. I hope the first shift they go out there and they cross check their best player in the ribs and knock him out for the game. And then we'll be even. Yeah, that was a tough loss. That was a tough loss. Uh, I went one and four tonight baseball. Royals, tough one. But on to better things. We'll do, we got horses now. We're going to beat the Belmont on Thursday. Uh, three o'clock uh, uh, post time. L, you have a couple of races. I'll have a couple of races. What do you got? Um, well, we basically got the pick four. You got one and four. I got two and three. Yeah. Um, so Should we go in order then? You want to go in order? Yeah, go. you go first. All right. Race one. I'm going to go with the number 10. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I'm on the right. Yeah. Race one. I'm going with the number 10. Uh, Sassy Melissa uh, is eight to one morning line. Got Ortiz riding the back. David Donk, the donger. Uh, oh. turf racer one, uh, did, did, uh, wanna, it's not its last race out, but, uh, has won recently on the turf. Uh, so I'm going with the number 10 there to get it going right off the bat with an eight to one shot. Um, you, with Ortiz at eight to one, you can never go wrong with that. So yeah, it's another reason I like it. Yeah. All right. Race two, we're, I'm taking the four horse. Uh, beautiful farewell. One of my big angles is run well as a two-year-old. So he ran two races as a two-year-old, finished third and fifth, but pretty close up both times. I think the second start, he missed the break a little bit. And then they give him that layoff, that time off. He's had basically the year off. I love the first start out, five to one morning line, nine to two. Really like the four. And then in race three, there is nobody else but the eight. So it's going to be short odds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a double. I'm going to play two in the races, two and three. I'm going to play four, eight. Eight is going to go off at less than one to one. But there's no, if he runs what he did last time or even less, he'll win. And he yep. should improve. So. so you're playing the daily doubles, is that what you said? I'm playing the double four, eight in race two and three. Okay. And then race four, I'm going to go with the one, Irresistible Girl. It happens to be the other Ortiz brother. Uh, he's a five to two, so it's a little bit shorter on here. Um, been in the money three out of the five races. Racing down a little bit. Taking the one. So I guess we could play a pick four. Yeah, if you wanted. I, I, I actually like that. I like the pick four. So. Could play a pick four with the picks there, but uh, maybe I will. Maybe I will turn it into something. My question to you is why didn't the announcers or the commentary just say anything about the cross check? It's like they didn't, it's like they didn't want to say it. They didn't want to say it. Like, I mean, that was a, a blatant cross check to the back where the player who didn't have the puck was away from the play, and uh, you knocked him out of the game. I mean, yeah, he played I mean, 46 so, yeah. seconds. They didn't even say it. it was like it was like the NHL was telling them not to say it. They didn't say it. It was like I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty. It was a pretty egregious hit. I think. I hope he's. I hope he's able to come back Friday night. Um, because I mean, I mean, they have so many good players, but uh, you know, Friday night they'll be at home again. I think they get it done. I knew tonight was going to be a tough game in that place. You knew it was going to be. Yeah. Uh, I still think they win but could have done without a game seven. Yep. And then tomorrow, Thursday night, you got Vegas and Montreal. Is there any reason to think Montreal is not going to win that game? No. I mean, they've I mean, played they them yeah. in the five previous games. This is game six, right? Yep. Montreal's all played them every game except game one. Yep. There's no reason. Montreal's the dog. And, you know, I've been gone against Montreal – I'm playing Montreal tomorrow night. I think they're getting like 125, 130. I'm playing them. Uh, 
I'm done going against them. They've killed me so many friggin' times this year, playing on them against them. But I'm doing it tomorrow night. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll definitely have some baseball tomorrow night. But NHL, we're getting down to the Final Four, getting down to the Cup. Thought we would have had one team in tonight, but we didn't. I still think it'll be Tampa. It's going to be Tampa-Montreal, that's what I think. Yep. And I think Tampa will beat them, but I thought – Everyone would have beat Montreal. Mm-hmm. Funny, you go back, Al. We were sitting there hoping Montreal would beat Toronto just for the sake of seeing Toronto lose. Never would have thought Montreal would be going to the cup. <laughs> so now now maybe Toronto shouldn't feel as bad as, as they yeah. as they <laughs> Maybe they should. Maybe they got beat by the best team. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow night with some more plays. Let's get uh let's go three out of four out of this horse race here. Three out of yeah. four winners. With one second. Good night. What is the video game on? They're watching video games. No, the, the, 